of terror. You come once again into the energies of a solstice, aware of course that the energies that are present around this sacred Sun-Earth conjunction have the power to accelerate your chosen path. You harness this power by taking the time to tune in, to focus on what you are desirous of manifesting in your life. You focus on what you choose, not on what is difficult. You spend time each day focusing on your path of light, resetting your goals, choosing peace above all else, knowing that there are millions of others on your planet doing this also over the solstice period and particularly on the 21st of June. Think about your path as a flow of energy into which you can step like stepping into a stream in order to achieve your mission or purpose as easily and joyfully as possible. For when you step into the flow of your chosen path, you are divinely assisted through guidance, signs and synchronicities which lead you forward towards the achieving of your goals. You must, of course, always bear in mind that the outcome of your path and what happens along the way may be different than what you are picturing right now. But as long as you continue to affirm that you are in service to the planet and that your manifestations are for the highest good of all, then the outcome will always be for your highest good also. There is often more than one path available to you at any given time and in any situation. The method you use to determine which way to step is to ask yourself which potential path feels more exciting and joyful. Which choice feels expansive rather than contracted? The energy of love is always associated with a feeling of expansion. The energy of love and light combined is always associated with peace. And so you can use your emotional mastery by tuning in to see whether the path that you are choosing feels expansive rather than contracted, feels uplifting rather than depressing, feels exciting rather than dull. Feel into whether your choice will bring peace, for this must underpin all your goals. Peace comes from clarity, simplicity, generosity, kindness towards yourself and all other living beings. Sometimes you step between one path and another testing the waters of each before committing to emerge yourself fully in the flow of one. You are practicing your skills of discernment, dabbling with the polarities of light and dark, and this is natural. It is part of the nature of the experiment that you chose to partake in by coming into the density of 3D. If you choose acceleration on your highest path, even if you do not understand 
what that path entails. Speak these words now and every day. I am part of the shift. I choose a path of light and service now. Let go of resistance to change. I step into the flow of my highest path. I manifest only that which is for the highest good of all. When you announce something verbally, you are heard by your personality self, by your higher self, and by the universe. And now, you are in the canoe of your success, dear ones. Visualize yourself floating down a stream, propelled forward by the gentle, loving flow of the universal energies. You feel the gentle current assisting you. No need to paddle, no need for effort. The landscape around you is glowing. Green fields and trees. Fluorescent flowers around you as your boat glides easily through the water. You visualize your destination not as a place, but as a field of energy that you are moving towards. You are comfortable that your destination is unknown. You trust that you will be guided, shown the way, assisted. You feel joyful, open. Love and abundance is flowing through your field, through your chakras, your body, your aura and your greater light body. And so it is, dear ones, that you accelerate your paths of light, joining the legions of light who work with you continuously at this time to co-create a future of unity and peace on your planet. Your assistance and cooperation is so greatly appreciated. We are with you always. Namaste.